from CNN in London. This is World News Europe. I'm Fanula Sweeney. The images were shaky, grainy, dark and graphic. They left no question that Saddam Hussein was executed, but the footage was secretly shot and leaked to the internet. Now Iraqi officials say one person has been detained, more arrests are expected and Iraq's Shiite-led government is in the midst of damage control. The individual arrested in connection with this video described as a security guard who was present for Hussein's hanging. At least two more arrests are expected, while questions abound over who was responsible for this controversial video. A U.S. military spokesman in Baghdad told reporters that the Iraqi government alone was responsible for what happened at the hanging. We had absolutely nothing to do with anything further than just the physical movement and security of him as we had always done to get him to a predetermined location, which in the past had been to uh, the courthouse where he had the uh, proceedings had been taking place. Some Iraqi government officials, including National Security Advisor Muwafaq al-Rubai, suggest outsiders bent on inflaming tensions among Saddam Hussein's Sunni Arab supporters infiltrated the execution chamber. Al-Rubai discussed this and more with Jim Clancy and Halle Garani in an interview earlier on CNN. We're launching an investigation. We have already uh, had an arrest warrant against one person and two to follow. And uh, these people are, uh, we think that we've been implanted either by uh, and infiltrated the execution team by one of these Arab television stations uh, or by, uh, by uh, an outsider of this uh, process. Okay. And uh, they, they have managed to... Uh, video uh, the, or record the the execution. Okay, but back to your comments and my question. You clearly glossed it over. I mean, did you feel that you had to, knowing that uh, if those comments, if the reality was out there, that it would provoke uh, violence in the streets, it would provoke more of that sectarian bitterness the country, the government is so desperately trying to overcome? Well, Jim, to be quite honest with you, to, be, to the best of my knowledge and belief, then that, was, that, is, that statement was right and correct. After the, the leak of, the, of the, that video, uh, I was, it was brought up, I was busy with the, with, the, with the process, I was busy with things, and I was busy as well with my other colleague, busy stand, uh, shutting up and keeping silent those who are uh, trying to... Uh, use uh, ab abusive language and so on and so forth and uh, there there wasn't a ba basically there was uh, uh, shouting slogans and he was shouting slogans as well uh, he was saying long live with the the jihadist long live with the jihad long live with the arab nation and uh, and he was uh, and people the audience or the witnesses they 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 responded by doing a a, a prayer a, a, a sort of congregational play, prayer, if you like, and that's what 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 happened. Uh, we stopped all those people who wanted to use foul language or or any uh, threatening uh, behavior. Uh, I think if they have done it once or twice, we stopped them doing this. Dr. El Rubai, this is uh, Hala Garani here alongside Jim Clancy. Hello, uh, hello. hello. Uh, you did not see someone actually use a cell phone. There were only 14 official witnesses. You have to be rather close to the action to get that kind of uh, video on we're, a cell phone. You didn't see someone pull out a cell phone and actually film the execution? We, we are disgusted by this. We are very irritated. We are going to leave no stone unturned to so you didn't investigate see it. this thoroughly and aggress aggressively. I, I saw a couple of, of these uh, cell phones around. Uh, but the, be, believe me, none of the Iraqi officials were carrying these cell phones. Those, because those went through two check, well, three checks, but and they were checked by the Americans in the green zone, and the, then the the guards and the American guards as well outside the 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 building uh, where the execution happened. But if so you saw the cell phones and the cell phones were forbidden, I'm sorry for interrupting. Why wasn't the execution stopped? The cell phones taken away and then the execution conducted again. Why not? Well, if you are in advanced stage of, uh, of putting the rope on the, around the neck of the, of the, of the uh, executed person before his execution, you don't stop that. And I don't know who was in charge of the whole operation uh, to stop it. I don't know who, is, who has the, uh, 
a responsibility or the authority to stop the execution then and there. Uh, it would have uh, it would have taken a huge courage to do this, and there was no need for for to stop that uh, uh, because there was a, a couple of you could have we could have uh, controlled these uh, uh, telephones and and uh, and and video cameras and confiscated them. 